everybody. Welcome to tonight's broadcast of WBMT. I'm Melissa. And I'm Alice. And we are going to bring you some awesome, fun news. There's a lot going on around Carbon County, so buckle up. It's going to be a fun ride. Fun ride. Talking about fun, we're going to uh, check in soon with a couple folks over at CCTI and else try to see, hear about some education in the county. Yeah, you don't have to be a recent high school graduate to continue your education. You can always be learning. So, Heather, why don't you tell us a little bit about what's happening at CCTI? Our students here at CCTI are from all over Carbon County. We have five school districts in Carbon County that send their students to our Career Academy. It is uh, hosted through the SHINE program, the Schools of Homes and Education, uh, through a grant uh, and funding through Lehigh Carbon Community College. You know, I lived in Carbon County my whole life, and I joined Carbon Leadership Carbon to make a difference in my community. Yeah, I did too. I really wanted to learn more about our community and businesses, organizations, and ways that I could help. And going to the different nonprofits and local businesses was really great. I learned a lot of leadership skills and self-assessment and teamwork. Absolutely. It was a lot of fun to learn about the programs that are here uh, in Carbon County directly related to Lehigh Carbon Community College and all of our wonderful schools. But you know, it's not just higher education. There's preschool. I work in a preschool, a daycare, and then you go to college and then even universities. Yes, adult education is right up there with the ability to go get your bachelor's degree right here in Carbon County. That's awesome. Wow, that was great information. I think I'm going to go enroll in some classes. Yeah, you probably should from what I've heard. <laughs> so there's some weather happening outside. Oh. Why don't you tell us about there it? There is some weather outside. So as you can see here, my map behind me, we've got some warmer temperatures coming your way, but also there's colder. No map behind oh. you. Well, we might not have a map, but the Lehigh Gap Nature Center does. So let's kick it on over to Kelly and tell us a little bit about what's happening out there. Good afternoon, I'm Kelly Andre from the Times News. Today we are here at the Lehigh Nature Center and we are joined by Nicole and Rebecca who are hiking the DNL Trail. Good afternoon ladies. Hi. Hello. Could you tell me a little bit about the Nature Center and how you found it? Sure, the Nature Center has over 750 acres of preserve here that you can come and explore over 13 miles of trail. Uh, the Osprey House hosts um, art exhibits, education, um, you know, it's something definitely cool to check out on the weekend when you have some free time. Could you tell me a little bit about the DNL Trail? Have you hiked it often? Definitely. They did an amazing job here trying to uh, rejuvenate the land that was ruined by the zinc company. Um, they planted some warm season grasses that have enabled the wildlife to come back without letting those minerals re enter the environment. And conveniently, the DNL trail that we're standing on here goes all the way up to Jim Thorpe, where they're in the process of building the new pedestrian footbridge. Rebecca, do you hike the DNL yes. trail often? Yes. Um, have you taken it all the way to yes, Jim Thorpe? Yes, actually, I have. Could you tell me a little bit about what you would do in an afternoon night? Jim Thorpe has an awesome opportunity for things to do. Whether you're looking for a little bit of adventure or just to sit back and relax and enjoy it, it's something for everyone. There's the Harry Packer Mansion where you can actually stay for the weekend and enjoy a murder mystery weekend. You can stop in and eat at any of the fine restaurants, shop in many of the quaint shops. Uh, if you're really into adventure, you can go whitewater rafting for the afternoon. And after it's all said and done, you can just sit back and relax and take a ride on the train. Well, thank you, ladies, and enjoy the rest of your hike. Thank you. Thank you. That was just beautiful out there. At the what? What was that? So, one more. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. What's going on? This just did. There's a fire down in Mock Junk Trust. Kevin? Hi, Jenny. Sorry to keep you waiting. Yeah, we no had problem. to just come back from a fire call. Sure, sure. I saw the trucks up at the up at uh, Mock Chung Trust. Yes. Uh, every once in a while, we get a call for uh, the customer service ratings are high, and it sets the smoke detectors off. Oh. <laughs> so, thank God they check their batteries and their smoke detectors regularly. Yes. Yes. Uh, I'm looking at taking an ad out in uh, Times News for uh, looking for volunteers. Is that something that you could help yeah, us with? Sure. Sure. I brought a paper with. Okay. What are you thinking? Uh, I was thinking if we could put like a full page ad in, in uh, the paper to try to promote uh, volunteerism in uh, Carbon County. Sure, great. Well, you may know that the Times News is our local newspaper here. We cover five counties, but Carbon County is our main county that we cover and we're headquartered in Lehigh. And, um, I would be happy to help you sit down and, and get an ad together for volunteers and even any events that you have going on here at the firehouse. Hey, way to take care of that situation and pop that fire, Kev. 
you know, the fire department's not the only place in Carbon County that needs some volunteers. It's true. Let's head over to Alicia and hear about what's going on at the Carbon County Animal Shelter. Hey everyone, I'm Alicia and today I'm here with Kim and we're at the Carbon County Animal Shelter. And Kim, why did you want to bring me here today? Uh, we're here today because as part of our leadership carbon class, um, this was part of our journey along the way here. So, um, you know, we stopped a lot of different places, but this was one that really hit home for me because I have a passion for animals. So, of course, dog shelter is great for me. Um, easy way for me to get involved in the community, um, a community that you know I'd like to spend a little bit more time volunteering for. Um, so this is a great opportunity for me. And what else can you do here besides walking a dog or donating dog food? Um, so one great thing that I learned that I could do to help out um, easy enough is clean out my closet and donate some clothing to the to the shelter. Um, they actually do a monthly clothing drive and they um, benefit from that because they make money um, just selling clothing from us. Um, so you don't have to make a straight money donation if you don't feel comfortable doing that, um, but it definitely helps them out. Okay. And there are so many ways that you can give back to Carbon County. There are so many different nonprofits in this county that you can find your passion. You can find something that you're really, truly passionate about and give back. Just like the animal shelter. You can donate clothes, donate food. There's so many homeless shelters here that you can cook a meal or drop off donations to them. Um, I found my passion and I created it turned to us. I saw a huge gap in support services available for the sick, so I took the huge leap and I found it a nonprofit, but it doesn't have to be that big. You can just do something really small to make a huge impact on the county. And if you need to learn more about nonprofits, you can always check out online, check out different websites, a lot of Google searches. So I encourage you guys, get out there, see what is available in Carmen County, just like we did by coming to the animal shelter, find your passion and get out there and make a difference. Alice, back to you. That was great information, Alicia. Thank you so much. Yes, I learned a lot about Carbon County today in this broadcast. One of my favorite parts is that you can learn just as much through the Leadership Carbon class. And there's so many ways to get involved, so many different organizations to volunteer for. That's right, and you're never too old to learn, right? <laughs> so true. So true. <laughs> we'll talk about that later. But thanks for joining us for today's broadcast of WBMT here at Blue Mountain Resort, where there's always something happening year-round. Visit our website at skibluemt.com and plan your adventure today. There's some delicious food waiting for us, so we're going to get to that, and we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> I almost said Lehigh Nature Gap Center. But everyone screws it up. Lehigh Gap Nature Center. I feel like Lehigh. I should do something else while you're making fun of me. Well, I thought you were going to start talking about the weather when I said that. Oh, like, oh there's some weather happening outside. Okay, I'll yeah, do yeah, that. Yeah. I want to thank the Times News for sponsoring me in Leadership Carbon County. Okay. Hold on. How do I want to start this? <laughs> okay. Supervisor at the Mock Trunk Trust Company. After Leadership Carbon, totally missed it. <laughs> we'll have, we'll have lots of really. Even though I'm from the. Blah, 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 blah. All right, go. Just in carbon leadership, it's leadership carbon. I did it again. <laughs> who, who came up with that name? From cooking a meal to for the homeless shelter. Nope. All right. Well, uh, see, I should have stopped. Uh -huh. All right. I'd like to thank the department for sponsoring me to participate in carbon leadership. I probably said it wrong. Now there's all kinds of traffic going by. Everybody sees. Of course. Look, we're trying to do stuff. <laughs> Great, we'll take a train ride. <laughs> I'm very glad I got to join 2017 class. Okay, it's going somewhere. Um, and just in general, and we can stop there. <laughs> I feel like I messed up. Uh, all right, so you, there's happy hour waiting for us down at the bar, so. Out, or where, right here. where we already are. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Now it's your turn. Okay, that was all, that's all she wrote for me. What's in here? So we'll catch you back here tomorrow. Yeah. Wow. Man. <laughs>